I finished my two little gardens. One was the tomato and the other is the eggplant. Those are both from the nightshade family and they could grow together but they get to be rather large plants so I wanted them to have enough space of their own plus their individual companion plants vary just a little bit so I wanted to make sure that they each had their friends that they liked the best with them. The first uh, pot that I made is Really, I think it turned out beautifully and this is actually an antique pot that my friend Clark Morton gave me um, from Morton's Botanical Garden and so I really just cherish it and I think it's so beautiful with all the plants in there. Here's my tomato plant and it's got its friend the carrot right by it and have you ever heard of that book Carrots Love Tomatoes? That's the quintessential gardening companion planting guide. So Carrots Love Tomatoes is a really good book. And um, it's got cilantro, some marigolds that I harvested from my garden last year in 2016. I harvested the seeds. Got some radish, grocery store green onions, parsley that I grew from seed, and borage because borage really helps uh, repel tomato hornworm. And on the inside here, I have my worm habitat. I wanted to cover it and I used, I'm repurposing this old filter from my uh, old composting pail that used to sit on my kitchen counter, but it's kind of flimsy and it wore out for that purpose. So I decided to use it here. So it's gonna let some air flow through, but it's also gonna protect it from the heat until the plants get going and can do that job as well. And I poked some holes in there for additional airflow. But it, you might remember that I used the orchid pots for the worm habitat because the orchid pots already have holes in them and the worms can crawl in and out and go throughout the, the, uh, the pot and help fertilize and aerate the soil. So the next pot here is the eggplant. And eggplants are really heavy nitrogen feeders. So I put some asparagus beans and some peas. These are from the, the legume family, the bean and legume family. And they actually pull nitrogen out of the atmosphere and put it into the soil. And I planted some, let's see, some spinach behind because spinach likes to grow in the shadow of the eggplant. Here's some carrots and some other lettuce. And I put the coconut core on both just to shade and also to provide some support for the young plants. It really does a good job at holding up and supporting the young plants. Plus it's gonna help when all of these other little seeds that I planted emerge. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps you with your gardening experience and leave comments or ask questions and I'm always happy to help with your gardening adventure. Um, if you want to subscribe to my page, that would be great. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll be giving you lots of content with how to start seeds, how to manage your plants, and how to get the most out of your gardening experience using permaculture techniques. Um, whether it's in a very small space or on a very big broad landscape. So thanks for watching and happy gardening.